I'm a disgruntled Eagles fan. Ever also. Hey, disgruntled. What a boring or what a bad, bad win by the Eagles. The Eagles, particularly Jalen Hurts, he got two interceptions. Miles Sanders had a fumble. We had three turn three total turnovers this game, which is very, very unlike us because last time we had this amount of turnovers, we lost. But luckily, we were able to beat the Bears, unlike when we weren't able to beat Washington. And this was just a tough win. I think the cold really got to our players since it was like 20 degrees and it was very windy. The wind probably made it a lot colder, but this was a very, very tough win by the Eagles in which it shouldn't have even been close. My dad was saying that we need to beat them by at least 21 and we only beat them by five. But I guess it was like a last time garbage touchdown in which it probably should have just been 25 to 13. But the Eagles offense was not playing good whatsoever. The Eagles defense was putting up a solid game except for a few runs here and there. Like the one Justin Fields touchdown that was almost a touchdown when he ran on I think it was like second and 27, got the first down and almost scored a few. Wouldn't have stepped out but at the nine. Other than that play, I think the defense played relatively well. Again, the last touchdown that the Bears scored was garbage time, so I don't really pin that on the Eagles. But we had, what, six plus sacks, seven, eight, eight sacks. I'm not quite sure, but it was at least six plus. I think it was our fourth game in a row with six plus sacks. So they were getting to J Justin Fields, and they were able to contain him for the most part. I think he got 100 yards rushing. That sounds like a lot, but he's basically a running back. They don't utilize Montgomery at all. But... We won a game that we should have won, even though it was a very ugly win. But I think we were leading for most of the time. I think after that first touchdown by the Bears and then the missed extra point by them, and then we were able to go down and score a touchdown. And from there, we were leading the entire time and didn't really have to worry about that. But it was, again, way too close for com comfort. Another plus side of this weekend, though, is that seemingly after the Eagles won and put that game away, the Cowboys lost due to a pick six in overtime, which was always a great way to end the morning or the afternoon slot, early afternoon slot, or 1 p.m. games. <laughs> but so the Cowboys are now 10 and 4, Eagles are 13 and 1, and we just need to beat the Cowboys next week and we will secure the number one overall seed and secure a uh, buy in the playoffs. And I think we need to also play hard against the Saints too. And I, sh I don't want the Eagles to rest, start resting players two weeks out of the regular seasons or two weeks left of the regular season because a three-week grace period is or two three-week rest period is way too short amount of time because if we do end up beating the Cowboys which I think we do have a strong chance to I don't want to get overconfident because the Cowboys are still 10-4 and four and one of the better teams in the NFC so I don't want to get overconfident but if we do win then we will secure the number one seed in which we will secure number one by obviously like I just said and we don't have to worry about after the Cowboys. And we can do that as early as week 15. Yeah, I just, I want the Eagles to play the Saints because one, they have our draft pick and they, they won, sadly won today against the Falcons, but they have the our pick and they could be a top five overall. I don't know. It could probably change, but before they won today, they were the number five overall draft pick, or they had the number five, number five overall draft pick. And But yeah, this was a weird week, weekend too, because, you know, seeing the Cowboys lose the Jaguars, which is a mediocre team, and then the Kansas City Chiefs almost losing to the Houston Texans, I think it makes, not that our win, our win was still ugly nonetheless, but it still made our win look, I don't know, less, less bad because all the really good teams were struggling and like really bad teams. And yeah, it just shows that we were able to scrounge up a win and... Yeah, kind of dominate, not, but not really. It was kind of one of those weird instances where we always had the lead. But, you know, if it was against a better team, then I don't know how that game would end. But Jalen Hurts needs to do way better. We can. Uh, the most frustrating thing from this is that I feel like Jalen Hurts has got almost a god complex, especially after that one insane pass and catch early on in the first, first quarter where Jalen Hurts rolled out to the left and he was running out of bounds and kind of lobbed it. It was kind of a Madden-like play, and Devontae Smith was able to catch it. But then Jalen Hurts thought that he could get any pass off and complete any pass in the world, and he ended up throwing an interception right after that. That was targeted to A.J. Brown, and he got his second interception too. Two interceptions in which, in this game, in which he only had 
three total interceptions coming into this game. So now he has five total interceptions, and that's not going to look good for the MVP race. And I think Patrick Mahomes narrowed that down a lot more, and I think Patrick Mahomes may even be in the lead for MVP now. But Jalen Hurts, I don't know, the play calling, the play scheme was not good whatsoever. I just don't understand the play and call because I feel like we were just lobbing up deep bombs here and there, expecting it to get caught. But I feel like we need to stay to the run game more because we were, Sanders only got a couple rushes. We can't allow Jared Hurts to be the only man on the show because that's not how we win in this league. If one area or one aspect is not doing good, we know how to switch and adapt to it and utilize other opponents components of our offense to actually beat teams like we did against the Packers, like the Titans, and what what was the team that we played last? Whoever we played last, the Giants. If one aspect was not working for our driver two, we'd switched it up, adapted, and then we ran to a run game. But if our run game wasn't working, then we would pass it more. And if our passing game wasn't working, we would have Jan Hertz run it more. But if teams are double teaming A.J. Brown, then we would pass it to Devontae Smith. If Devontae Smith was getting double teamed, we would pass it to Quez Walken or A.J. Brown. There's just so much to utilize within that offense, and we just didn't adapt to it like we usually do, which is kind of worrying because I feel like our overconfidence kind of got to us, and if we were playing a better team, I feel like we would have lost because they would have taken advantage of that. And the win was definitely a factor too because like that, the field goal that was missed and the actual point that was missed by the Bears, field goal miss was by Jake Elliott. But yeah, that I just don't want that to happen ever again. And Jalen Hurts, too many deep balls, like I was saying. Like I feel like he was just kind of lobbing it up, hoping that he'll get caught. And only one bomb worked. And I just feel like you can't. Bombs are the least likely play to get caught and completed. But we had a lot of success, don't get me wrong. And I'm not saying go away from it, but not utilize it as much as we were. And our main strengths was the slants in which we did less of, and yeah, um, just run the ball more, less deep bombs, and learn how to adapt. That should, those are the key lessons that I took out of this, um, and that the Eagles should take out of it too. But that's all, and thanks for watching.